Welcome back to Fit for Life with Karen. And I've got kind of an interesting show for you today. I think we're going to talk a little bit about exercise and your mind. It does affect your mind. I think you know that. Um, 6.7 million people in the United States have, have Alzheimer's disease. But we can reduce our risk with exercise. Isn't that good news? I mean, they've known that for as long as I think Alzheimer's has been around. But um, I'm just um, letting you know the truth. It does help a little bit if you exercise. We're getting blood up to the brain. Staying active can reduce your risk. Uh, and the risk actually is falling. Uh, there are less cases as, as time goes by because I think people are more aware. Um, AARP has a great magazine, I think. And I don't mind putting in a plug for them, although I don't think they need it. They have millions, millions of people that subscribe to it. Uh, they always give the latest information. So staying active can reduce it. It really can reduce your risk of Alzheimer's disease. Uh, actually, it says by 45%. So uh, if any of you still have the, the March edition of it, please read it. And you'll get all your information. There are about six pages, but there's some drawings too. So it's really not that much text. Um, it keeps our brain cells more resistant to Alzheimer's disease. And this is, we're talking about all kinds of exercise. Just keep that mind active. Uh, eat more plant-based foods. Maybe you're already doing that. Have more salads, more greens, uh, bright colored vegetables and fruits. Um, chronic stress plays a part in Alzheimer's disease too. So that's why we do um, our yoga class every fifth class. And we're gonna do it again this time when I when I do my shows. Um, so stay active, socialize, learn something new, do some volunteer work. There's always a need, especially with people that do have Alzheimer's. Uh, and don't forget to read the March edition of AARP and it's all there. So today we're gonna do exercise. We're gonna do a little bit of everything, whatever comes to my mind first. So the first thing we will do is our seated warm-ups. And you can do this also lying down in bed, and you already know that. So I'm going to bring my legs up. If you're in bed already, this will be easy, right? And all you're going to do is just move those feet back and forth. You can do it without lying in bed. We can do it seated. Just follow me a little bit. Good. Then you're going to point and flex. Two. Try to do at least eight of everything today, and maybe do two sets of everything when you're doing it on your own. So this is all for what? Your feet and your ankles to get that blood moving up, up the legs. I'm going to put one foot down and we're just going to circle. Take your time on this one. It's great for ankle flexibility. Hopefully that will reduce your falls. And let's go the other way. I may not be doing exactly eight myself, but try to remember that number. Let's do the other nice and slow around. Doesn't that feel good? You can feel your foot come alive. And you know, the, your feet are kind of a distance away from your heart. So you want to make sure you do enough of these bed exercises or morning exercises. That's a much better name. Okay, now all you're going to do is straighten one leg. If you were in bed, this would be flat on the mattress and you would bounce the foot. So they're simple. It's just being creative, just do something you've seen before. Maybe you're already exercising before you get up. And this is great for strength, a little bit for flexibility, but again, to get the blood up to your brain so that your brain will be healthier and active. We'll do the other leg, just bouncing that leg. I like this one. Now, many of you might have arthritis or other knee problems. And if you're already going to a physical therapist, you know exactly what to do. Now, I am just suggesting, I'm not telling you you have to do this or it's going to work perfectly for everyone, but I tried it and it did work for me. Uh, going up and down stairs was getting not so good lately. So we're going to slide forward. You're going to lift one leg up. If you're lying down, it's just as easy to do this. You're going to reach underneath. You're gonna pull that leg up as close as you can get it to your chest. And when you're doing this, you're also getting a wonderful stretch in your lower back, which we need. It just loosens everything up. So, and I do, I do about 
16 of these. Sometimes I get up to 20, which is good. And I don't feel the clicking anymore. It takes a while. You start off with just a couple, and then you move up to more repetitions. So I'm doing it. This is the second time I'm doing this today. Let's try the other leg, lifting up. Pull that knee in and up and toward your chest and do, and see it's, it's not clicking. And the closer I bring that knee to my chest, the less it, the less it clicks. So it works for me. Do the best you can. Wonderful, I love this exercise. Um, another exercise I like to do is this one in bed. And what I do is, because you're lying down, I'm going to slide forward a little, and I just pull this lower leg over to the side and let that leg flop down to the mattress if you can, if you can get it down there, if you're flexible enough. And I try to hold that for 30 seconds, and I'll probably do just one of those, then I'll do the other side, crossing over, and then, and it feels good. It feels good. It stretches those hips out, your lower back. It's a great exercise. I really love it. And I'm going to give you maybe, maybe just one more of these. Um, if you're in a chair, it might be a little difficult, but I'd like you to bring both, both of the knees, if you can do it, and just pull in. If you can't do it in the chair, try to remember this one. If you do only one, pull, pull the knees to your chest. And then I'll give you another one that you could probably remember every morning, if you're still lying in bed, is this one. You'll remember that. So that just gets things going, if you don't remember anything else, okay? Um, now, another way we can warm up, loosen up, stretch a little bit, uh, it might be slightly aerobic, is to stand up and do some warm-up exercises if you're already up and dressed and bathed and so forth. So let's come forward in our chairs. Try not to do this or that. What I'd like you to do is try to stand up without holding on, and you know we've been working on that. That's something else you can practice daily, especially if you spend a lot of time at home. Uh, I'm going to sit back down again. Now, if that is extremely difficult and you're just starting to tune into the show, you can put your hands right here and push down. Push into your legs as long as it doesn't hurt, right? Okay. So I'm going to move to the side of the chair here. Now, if you do watch the news, if you watch television in the morning, uh, you can stand in front of the television. Instead of just standing there, you can be moving. Do anything you think of. Lift those knees up. Good, sure. So you're strengthening a little bit. You're stretching the back. You're strengthening the front. Your quadriceps, which you need for what? Balance. Yes. You want them to be strong. You can start off as simply as this. Bending the knees a little bit. Did you hear that crunch right there? Two and three and four. So we did some seated stretches and movement, and now we're standing. Uh, they're warm-ups, but they're part of other different exercises that we do. So it's nice to, again, just get that strength and um, get the blood circulating. Good. All right, then you can just point to the front, uh, put some music on, do a little dancing. Here, just keep tapping away. You can move your arms if you want, you can move them up, you can move them down. Try this one with me. Step forward, step back. So instead of side to side, up and down, you're going front to back as if you're taking a walk. And I like this one because it's easy to do. And it, all of them are good for balance. Great. Let's do one more of those. We'll stop here. We'll do the other leg by just stepping to the front and back. Move your arms front back or front bring those arms back yes front to back you can slow it down a little bit if your balance isn't good but it will improve your balance too so remember this is a little bit of aerobics getting the heart rate up a little bit in front and back now another one that I love to do saw this on a videotape many years ago um, and you may, may have heard me say this before, the man that did this said we should do 100 of them. How's that? We don't have to do 100. But we're going to just lift the arms up, get a nice stretch. So we're stretching your feet are apart a little bit. 
You're going to come forward and bring the arms back. You can keep that head up. You don't have to exercise like that. For some people, that would be uncomfortable. Uh, it might cause dizziness. So just do what you can do, but try to remember to keep that head up. Up again. Oh, that feels so good. So you're getting kind of a full body workout just by having fun. Isn't this fun? And if you do it to music, it's even more fun. So we'll bring those arms back. Good. And up again. And back. If you want to do them faster, that's okay. Try to do, I would say, at least 10 of them. Now try this exercise with me. This is a stretch. Palm flat if you can. So you're going to pull those fingers back. Palm up to the ceiling. It's a great stretch. This palm down. Now switch. Reaching up, so you're stretching all of this. Reaching down, you're still stretching all of that. Let's switch. Palm up and palm down. Let's do it with the yoga breath. Breathing up and then down. Breathe up and then push down. Good. Try it again. Breathing up. That makes me relax. I really don't want to relax if I'm exercising right now. Try it again, breathing up, and then just switching. Palm up, palm down. Wonderful stretch. Now, second position ballet, don't forget. And just do some easy lunges. You can bring your arms around here. You can bring back here. Just let those arms flop around good. And it feels good, doesn't it? You feel alive. Uh, it wakes you up, too, if you're still a little groggy. Wonderful. Love it. Love it. All right, try this with me. This, this is a yoga move. See if you can do this. We're going to bend this knee now, nice and wide here. Make sure your foot is flat. You're not rolling the foot back or in. So that would be pronation. So let's just bend that knee. And then I want you to do a little bend here. Just bring the arm up just a little bit. Make sure you're slightly forward so you don't fall back. Good. And then we'll come back up. Let's try the other side now. Make sure you have shoes on when you do this. You don't have to, but I think it's, it's better for the foot and for your balance. And then just slide down and lift the elbow up. That was not too bad, is it? How does it feel? Great, and then we'll come back up. Now we've done a lot forward and we've done a lot to the side. Let's kick that foot to the back. And I think this will be our last one, okay? So let's kick it back, touch your shoulders if you want to. So it's kind of aerobic. So we're doing stretching, aerobics, a little bit of everything. Good. And up again, touch the shoulders up. Good. Now, did I say this was the last thing? Now, we have to do one more thing because it is a stretch and it is a nice reach up. Sometimes we have to reach way up to the top shelf in the cabinets. I don't know why they make them that way, but we are a taller generation, aren't we, than even 50 years ago or maybe 100 years ago. People were smaller then, 200 years ago. Great. All right, let's sit down. I hope you have water with you. Um, even when you sit down, just make sure the chair is there and see if you can sit down without holding on. But always check the chair. Wonderful. Spring is upon us. I heard the birds today and yesterday. Cheers. Always have your water handy. So it's good for so many things that I think I could do a show on just water, telling you what it does for the different systems in our body, and even, even for the mind, really. Okay, so the next thing we're going to concentrate on, because uh, it's very aging to, to be like this all the time. So people are you're kind of straining to hear the television or whatever, even reading, even standing and opening our mail, we're always forward. So let's do the opposite. Let's do the opposite. Grab your hands together and reach. Let's grab that wrist and pull it up. This right away flattens your back out. So you're going to pull.
pull right up. How does that feel? I hope it's good. The other wrist and pull. Uh, normally, um, or if, if you want to do it this way, you can hold it for 30 seconds or so, pulling up, 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 and then again the other arm. And very gently, now I'd like you to push back. You can, this time you can just grab your fingers and very gently push back, and that too will flatten your back out. Can you feel it? Uh, if, you're, if you're quite bent over and you're not used to doing this, it may be a little uncomfortable. Just do the best you can. But the more you do this, the harder it's going to be to straighten up again. So keep that in mind. And start now. It's never too late for posture. Um, another easy thing you can do. Do I look great like this? I don't think so. Hands on your knees. And look at the difference. Oh, my. Don't I look younger? Admit it, I do. Than this, yes. Let's look up at the ceiling. I'm just looking for compliments, that's all. Looking straight ahead now. Let's just turn gently, gently, gently. Yeah, don't force it, but try to get that head back there a little bit. I want you to feel what it feels like to have a nice straight back, moving with a straight back. Turn to the other side, good. And then we'll come back. Let's drop the ear to the shoulder. My neck is a little stiff today, but the more you do this, the easier it gets. The muscles will warm up, allow you to move a little bit further. Good. Let's go back to the other side. Now, if this doesn't make you dizzy, I'd like you to drop your head down and then just bring it to the other side. Do you hear any crackling in there? It's called crepitus. Kind of an odd word, isn't it? Drop the chin down. Oh, I can feel it. I can hear it. Mm. And if it's too much or it feels funny, you don't like the feeling, just don't do it. All right? Now, for posture, let's come forward first. Let's loosen up the spine first. So you're just going to drop down. You can grab your ankles if you want or touch the top of your foot or touch your toe or just here, whatever. Just go beyond your fitness level a little bit. Again, pay attention to what you hear and how you feel when you do these things. I'm going to grab my ankles. But I don't want to stay here, but I want to stretch my spine. So we've already done this one. Let's do it again one more time. And very gently push back. So I can go back a little bit further because I've been stretching out. All right, this feels pretty good. Um, let's rotate the spine. And this, too, will be good for posture. Uh, hopefully all of what we're doing today is good for your posture. We'll take this hand, cross it over, and just keep turning. Pull yourself right up. You don't have to sit back on this one. You can come forward just a little bit. Turn your head in that direction also. Now you can stay here for a few minutes unless it's horribly uncomfortable. And you're going to turn your head back to the other side as far as you could go. Yeah, feels a little different this way, doesn't it? All right, now to make this even better and smoother, streamline it a little bit. Take this hand, but let's breathe up through the nose first. And when you exhale, you're going to turn. Keep exhaling, keep exhaling, and now you can resume your natural breathing. All right, good. Pull yourself around. You feel that twist? It's good for your upper back, your mid back, your lower back, your hips. Pulling in. Let's turn the head back in the opposite direction. Feels pretty good today. Good. And then we'll relax. Now the spine can bend again. It can bend. And this would be the fourth uh, major stretch for the spine. And I do this in most of my classes. We're going to take this hand and cross over again. Let's breathe up. Breathe up through the nose. And exhale as you bend and reach. This is not a bend. It's not a good bend. You want to really keep that arm as straight as you can. Good. Oh, I feel it all the way down the side. It feels wonderful. Right down to the hip, even the lower back a little bit. Let's take another breath. Let's cross over first. Breathe up through the nose as we reach up. Reach, reach, reach. And exhale as you bend. 
Oh, that feels so good. Oh, wonderful. Feels even better on this side, actually. Good. And then we'll come back slowly now. Another good stretch. Grab some water if you have to. I'll just stop for a minute, but we'll we'll set it up. Just grabbing these elbows, holding on. And then just pull across when when you get back from your drink. Pull across gently. I feel that. It's okay. I mean, it doesn't hurt at all. Might be a little uncomfortable if you're not used to it, but we're getting used to it, aren't we? So you're going to just breathe out. This side feels better. Yeah. Let's breathe out again. Slowly, slowly. And remember, the, these things that I do with you, try to hold these poses longer. If you can do that for 30 seconds, then you don't have to do so many repetitions. And you're getting, I think, a better benefit from it, pulling it across. So we're not turning the body, are we? We're, we're turning against it. All right. Let's breathe out one more time and pull across. Wonderful. Oh, we love these. Uh, let's do another one that's kind of fun. And it feels good. You can ask your grandchildren to try this. See what they do with it. Cross over. Hold on to your shoulders. Uh, let's take another breath up. And exhale as you come forward, keeping the head up. So you're kind of pulling yourself forward. You're rounding your back a little bit, but not too bad. Good. So most of what we've done is for the upper body so far, all the way up. So how does that feel? Pretty good. All right, let's do a little bit for the lower body. I'm going to come forward in the chair. We're going to stretch the lower back or the lower spine. You're going to lift that leg up. It is easier if you're forward in the chair or lying down like we did before. So we're going to lift up. You're going to breathe out as you pull that leg in. And then resume your natural breathing. And if you want to, you can just drop the chin forward, drop that head right down, good. And I would say in 99% of you, this feels good. And if it doesn't, you know what to do. Just take care of it. Find out what it is. Good. We'll put that leg down. You're going to lift the leg up and pull it in. Let's take another yoga breath. This time we'll breathe up first, breathing all the way up. Holding and exhale. Remember, make that exhalation a little bit longer. You might have to push it out just a little bit. Good. Dropping that chin right down. So posture is good for everything. Exercise, dancing. You don't want to be walking around or dancing or moving like this. Um, what happens as our day progresses, we do get stressed out about some things. And when we get stressed, the shoulders tend to come up on their own. You don't even know it. So by the time they're up here to your ears, you figure, yeah, you must be stressed out. So let's pull them down. See the difference? Yeah. We can breathe better. We can breathe better when we do that. So let's do the opposite. Drop your chin down. Lift your shoulders up. Round your back. We've done this before. You know how to do this. Let's breathe up through the nose again as you lift your head up. Shoulders come down. Nice and tall. Pulling against the knees. This is the yoga cat, isn't it? Looking up at the ceiling. All right, let's try one more. Let's breathe up through the nose. Oh, getting so relaxed. Drop that chin down as you lift your shoulders. Round your back. Good. And then just resume your natural breathing. And then you're going to come back up slowly. I'm going to give you, this is one of the uh, last exercises I'm going to give you today. Uh, you're going to sit back. Take this arm. If you need to turn a little bit, it's okay. Do the best you can, but just throw it over the back of your chair. But try to stay straight. Try to keep your legs straight if you can. If you need to move them a little bit, you're going to feel a stretch here. It opens up all of this area. Good. I'm going to turn in the opposite direction. 
turning my head over here. Let's go back slowly. And this will pull you right up nice and straight. Pull those shoulders down. Hold, hold. Keep holding if you can. Wonderful. Now we have to do the other side. We have two sides, right? So you're going to take that arm, just throw it over. My legs are still fairly straight, I think. You can hold on if you want. I'm just going to turn my head in the opposite direction. Good. You are going to be so stretched and straight. You're burning calories, too. You're improving your mind by exercising, by exercising. Good. We'll come back slowly. Now, I think for the next minute, we're just going to relax. Um, many people have anxiety. How could you not in these times, really? But, but there is something you can do about it. It's the yoga breath. So let's take a breath up through the nose. You can close your eyes if you can hear me. Way up. Hold that breath. Oh, yeah, it feels wonderful. Exhale. Let your chin drop right down. All right, so let's not worry about posture or shoulders or anything. Just let that chin come down to a comfortable place. You don't have to force it. Now we've got one minute left. That's it. Let's try to do nothing. Try not to think. And when you do the yoga breath, it clears your mind. So you're not thinking about 18 things at one time, and therein lies the stress. So just try this breathing. Let's put our foot out front. Let's breathe together all the way up. See, I'm closing my eyes. It makes me sleepy. And exhale again. Sit back. Move your head from side to side. And thank you for joining me today. You know, you're going to feel better. You've done something great for yourself. It doesn't take much. It just takes consistency. And that's what I try to get across to you. So again, thank you. We'll see you the next time. I'm always thinking of new things. Watch out. Bye for now. Bye-bye. See you next time.